Hi guys! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, you are in the right place. Yes! So find out what we're going to be talking about today and keep watching my darlings. So I have lots of interesting conversations with people and one of the questions that pops up or one of the questions I ask them is would you say you have a relationship with God? Some of them actually give me this answer which has drawn my attention and is one of the reasons I'm doing this video. They tell me, um, yeah, I go to church. Yeah, so yeah, I have a relationship with God. Um, <laughs> and when that, when they answer, when, whenever they give that answer, I'm like, um, mm -mm. no, like you're not answering my question. But, um, so guys, I'm not even here to tell you to stop going to church. Like if you have a church that is centered on Christ, Bible believing, all about Christ, please, by all means, go to church. But beyond going to church, people, beyond going to church, there is more. There is so much more in getting to know God, in building that relationship with God. Um, so I want to give you guys this analogy. When a baby is born, I, I, lo I love to use this analogy so much, but I, I guess it will help us to understand better. When a baby is born, the baby has to be fed in order for that baby to grow into an, into an adult. And interestingly, when the baby becomes an adult, the adult has to what? Keep eating because in this world, in order for you to be alive, in order for you to, to survive, to be healthy, you need to eat food right so that you can be strong so you can be agile it's the same spiritually when you're born again so when i say born again i mean when you come into the family of god through jesus christ you give your life to christ and you believe he came to die for your sins and so you're you want to take that step in now growing your relationship with god so you don't just want to be a baby in christ the bible says it in philippians chapter 2 verse 12 that you should what walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. The Amplified Version puts it this way, um, just part of it. The Amplified Version says, actively strive to pursue maturity, spiritual maturity. So, in order for you to grow, you have to feed your spirit man. You have to feed your spirit man with what the word of God. And another thing is, thank God, God is with us. Holy Spirit is here on earth. So, while you're reading the word of god you also need to ask god to help you and give you understanding because it's his word he's the author of the bible um before jesus left in john 14 verse 16 you know he was telling his disciples that he's not just going to leave them alone and leave them comfortless leave them in limbo but he will ask the father to send holy spirit another comforter another advocate who will remind and teach them of all of the things that Jesus taught them so Holy Spirit is here with us today that's the Spirit of God who is going to really help us to understand the word because up until today whenever I want to read the Word of God I pray I say God please give me understanding to your word because the Bible is not any book that I can just use my my intellect my brain to interpret and everything It's the Word of God and so and and, and it's it's food to me to my spirit man so I always ask God Holy Spirit I say Holy Spirit please give me understanding this is your word you're here Jesus said you will be with us always you're here with us to teach us to remind us of of everything that Jesus taught us so you need to ask God for understanding um, now one question I've gotten from people is this a lot of people say um, Esther you say read the Bible but then I don't even know where to start from like I'm new to Christianity and I have no clue here's the thing um you know the goal in Christianity is really about being like Christ right Christian Christ like so um one thing I would say is this you could start from the New Testament you could start from the the books that is centered on the life of Christ while he was here on earth and that's Matthew Mark Luke John these books will help you to see how Jesus lived while he was on earth, how he loved people, how he, he, he was just spectacular. You know, these, these books are 
they, they, they're really centered on, on Christ. So you can start from there and with, you can take it in chunks. So it could be a chapter a day, 10 verses a day, 20 verses a day. As long as you just start, you just put in the effort to start and you're consistent. So consistency is also key, guys. Consistency is key. Like, even if you don't feel like it, just, just do it. Because like I said, in order to survive here on earth, like sometimes even if you don't feel like eating, you just take something, you know, so that at least you have that energy. So spiritually, you also need to make sure that con you're consistent, even if it's 15 minutes a day, maybe in the morning, we could split it up 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. Um, I know a lot of us have busy schedules, different classes, we have um, our jobs, everything. Look, if we can find time to eat food because we need to stay alive here on earth, we can also find that time for God. No matter how, you know, no matter how you do it. Because the thing is, I remember when I first started working, when I say my schedule was upside down, like it was, it was hectic. Like I didn't even know what to do, but I didn't really have the luxury of time to to sit down and say, okay, I'm doing um, 30 minutes of me and God. No, I didn't really have that time. But what I did was, because um, I had to wake up early, I had to catch the bus, everything was just everywhere. So as what I used to do was, as I was waking up, I would, I would literally just be praying. I'd be like, God, thank you so much for the opportunity of seeing another day. And then as I'm, I'm walking and I'm, I'm basically getting ready for work, but I'm praying and trying to carry God along, you know, just talking about, you know, my day. I'm just like, God, so these are my plans for today. Like, you know, help me do this. I, however the conversation may go. Um, sometimes I may not have time to sit down and read um, my Bible in the morning, but what I would do is, um, Sometimes like going to work, I'll just listen to like a short message or even if it's a long message, like even if it's like 15 minutes, because then it used to take me like 19 minutes to get to work. So that time on my way, I'll listen to a message sometimes or play a gospel music. So there are different ways of just making sure you're consistently carrying God along and growing that relationship with God because in a relationship, communication is key. So you want to make sure that um, you're, you, you're always carrying God along you know you're always running back to God whenever you have that time and for me during the weekends I had time so during the weekends was when I really had time to catch up on a lot so I'll just lock myself up in my room and catch up I just wanted to make sure that I was feeding my spirit man you know as I'm growing and looking healthy physically I also want to be healthy spiritually so um, yeah I just pray that God helps you to be able to to do to be consistent with him and grow and actually get to know God through your experiences. Again, thank God we have Holy Spirit here who will never leave us to just do things ourselves. You can always ask for for strength from God and ask for help from the Holy Spirit. So, um with that, I'm going to stop here. I'm not I'm not even trying to make a very long video, but um I just pray that God helps you and gives you the strength to do what you have to do to grow. And the little time that you put in here and there, you might not see the result. You might not see how the word of God is actually slowly transforming you. You might not see it just yet, but over time you you start to think you start to see that oh the way you used to think about things was was different. Especially if you're feeding your mind every day with the word of God. Like the world is saying A, the word of God is saying B. You're holding on to the word of God and at the end of the day, like you won't be scared whenever news hits or something. Um, so slowly and gradually you'll be transformed. You you become like Christ slowly and gradually. Um, again, I want to say a very big thank you if you've made it this far to watching this video and I want to say a very big thank you to my subscribers. If you're not subscribed, okay, oh yeah, subscribe. <laughs> um, so please share and please let's do justice to the comment section. Let us do justice to the comment section. If you have questions, feel free to ask your questions on in the comment section below. So yeah, take care. I'll see you guys.